If you're a web designer or just trying to play around with your themes, there are a few development tools that you want to consider using to do your web design. Here are a few tools. The first tool that you must have is called Firebug. If you Google it, it comes up on the first page. It only works with Firefox properly. If you install it, what you can do with Firebug is you can investigate all the classes on the page. So in other words, if I go to this website and turn on Firebug, I can see what class each button is referenced. In this case, it tells me that this button has this class and this class and so on. Then you can go back to Shop and Cordelite and reference each class. Now, we also give you a description on where each class may be located. So in this case, we say that this is a universal page. This has to do with background, the inner background, and the padding, and so forth. So, if you're not sure what you're changing, and you don't really feel like changing it, and then going to the preview of the feature, you can actually go to the website, to your website, and investigate each class accordingly, and then modify it accordingly on the site. Now there are a lot of tutorials about CSS. One of them is CSSBasics.com. I'm sure you can find many others. But you might want to get familiar with the syntax of CSS if you're going to be changing the different styles. Now one of the cool features on Firebug is that you can actually modify the style that doesn't go on your website just so you can kind of see what it would look like. So if I say instead of having this background image, I want to have the color black, so background black. I can actually see what it would look like without modifying it on Shopping Cordelite. So that's the beauty of Firebug. If you don't feel like using Firebug, you can always modify anything here, go to the preview, and as long as you don't have it active, it's not going to be seen by your users. It's only going to be seen in the preview mode. The other tool you may want to consider using is called Dark Eye. So it's dark dash the letter I dot com. And what this does is you can put in a website and it goes through their CSS and checks what colors they use and then gives you a plate of the color styles so you can replicate it on your own website. So in other words, we can click on any website here or type in our own. I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of them. And it tells us what this website used. So it says 10% was this color, 6% was this color, 3% was this color, and so on and this is where the website was located. So this can give you an idea of what plates to use or what colors to use on your website. If you go to Shopping Coralie and you sort by colors, you can see a plate of your own colors. So you basically have three to five colors that you constantly keep reusing. And what you can do is you can delete these colors and override them with the dark eye ones and see what kind of combination it is. So if you know of a really good looking website, you may want to consider implementing it. Double check all your work after you implement it if you're going to be activating your theme because you definitely don't want to have a matching background color and text color because then your user will not see what they're clicking on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of me changing the header and how easy it is and how different the whole website starts to look after I change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the inner background header so the website will start to look like this. Let me just go to preview mode so I can keep showing you the difference as I'm changing it. So as soon as I change the 5 pixel padding for the inner background, as you can see, all the corners disappeared. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the width too and put 0. In fact, I'm not going to put anything. I'm just going to leave it blank so it's not even being triggered. And if we go to preview again, we see it looks fine, except now it doesn't have any of the borders. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make this whole thing solid. So instead of having this line here, I want to have a black line. So I'm going to go back to Shopping Cartelite, and I'm going to find top header. So I changed the left to right header separator to black. I'm going to press preview. So now I have a solid header. Then I can also modify my buttons. 
to match the black theme and I'm going to have a solid black themed header instead of the two piece header that I had previously. So this is how easy it is to, to modify all the images and all the classes on your website and if you change the buttons, you change the graphics, you change the background, you change the whole color theme it's going to look completely different from any other website on the internet.